Hello. Hello. And you've already guessed that we are sitting in a class 8900 with, if I just point that camera around here, there, professional camera work, that this is a, what is it, is it? Four, 45 feet or 13.8 metres. 13.8 metres. And if I go, I'll twist it from there to there. And what I suggest you do, boys and girls, is go out to the garden and pace out 45 feet or 13.8 metres. And trust me, it's wide. And that's... Um, so we got it's the Convio, isn't it? It's the Convio Flex, yes. And oh, I'm impressed, and I've got a sneaky feeling. How would you sum it? If somebody asked you, because you, you've done what, thousand acres so far? Uh, just over. We've done about nine hundred acres of oilseed rape, and we've now done uh, three hundred and fifty acres of winter wheat so far. <coughs> so so far so good. Um, it's pretty, I'm not going to say easy guy, well, it, it, yeah, we uh, I, I, <laughs> not I think, really testing it today, is it? No, I think the feed, it's not, it's not testing the flex, but just the belt header itself. Oh, the see, feeding is so much yeah, more I'm gonna, even. Here we go, camera work, camera work, camera work, let's go back to there. It is so much more even than a it conventional header. feeding in beautifully, isn't it? So the, you know, it's getting presented or even need to the combine, which has yeah, yeah. got to be better for throughput. Yeah. And I think in all seed rate, that was even more so the case. Um, all seed rate very often can bunch up and then go through in a lump. Whereas, you know, it, it's, it's, it was feeding it very evenly. So, so far, I'm very impressed. It does what it says on the tin, and I'm not uh, taking it back yet. No, so, so the whole, this whole 89 is new this year? Uh, no, they were about last year, I think. This is no, new, I mean, it's, new, new, it's new to us. New to us, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, um, so, well, this is pretty so much top of the tree, isn't it? In the it class. is. It's to replace two harvesters for us. So we've lost a little bit of land into environmental schemes and uh, a very small contract farming agreement. So we decided we've got to make do with one machine. And yeah. this is it. So, an hour, we were chatting off camera. You were saying three and a half thousand acres? Yes, three and a half through, through the combine, yeah. So, and I, you know, manufacturers will make claims about, oh, it will do this and this. Is it, at the moment, good decision, one to two, one, two for one? Yes, very much so. It's a lot easier to manage. It's one less harvester driver. It's a, less, uh, a man less on carting as well. Uh, it is just easier and it's very much the right decision and we perhaps should have done it years ago. That's interesting. Yeah. One of my employees was saying all along we should have gone to one harvester and uh, anyway, we didn't, but uh, it looks like he probably was right at the time. Well, years ago, as we, you know, again, chatting off camera before, but, you know, I used to have something like this 20 odd years ago. And one thing you were saying, this, I mean, I've looked around this thing. In fact, there's a separate vid where we walk around a 7-7 and um, uh, which, we, we lift the lids and all that sort of thing. But looking around this one, and, and you popped up this morning and said, you haven't yet had to do the air cleaner. No, the air cleaner and the radiator no. hasn't been touched yet. It hasn't, but, well, unless the warner's not, unless it's not working. Unless it's but, not working. <laughs> but it hasn't been cleaned out and it's still got the power, so. Yeah. Um, no, no, the class advise you not to do it until you're, till you're asked to do it, so. Um, That's yeah. just crazy. I mean, so impressive. Do you spot impressed? Um, but that's real world impressed, isn't it? That's and here we are, we're sitting at 60, well, just over 60 tonnes an hour at the moment. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll bring, we'll come, try to get the camera over there a bit and just see, yeah, so. So we have the tonne of hectare, which is nearly 10 or about 10. Oh, Which is it now. Yeah, well, that's and not... then we've got the 63 tons an hour, hectares an hour. Yeah. This is telling me how many meters I can travel before my grain tank is full. 240. Uh, no, oh, 230 meters. Yes. 230. And then 50% full. 
16.7% moisture. Yeah. And these are all my returns, losses, and cracked grains and straw in the. In the and this is CMOS, of course, isn't it? It is CMOS. We can put camera two on, and we can see the grain going through, and it picks out the impurities, so it knows um, that how clean a sample it's. This is other. This is um, voodoo. This is not real, is it? It's. I mean, hold on, camera work back again. I mean the. And this but, means when it's, uh, this is obviously quite high now, which will, it will slow it, oh it won't, because I haven't got the guidance in, but that will slow itself down now. Sorry, the cruise pilot in. So this say. is, this CMOS basically is a fully automatic sample, AI, after, is it? Artificial it's, it's, intelligence. It's yeah, pretty, it's with, but basically it's looking at the sample and then altering the, combine all the time. It is, and I can go into the CMOS and alter the strategy. Now for, that bit... For improved cleanliness, improved freshing, or yeah. improved throughput. And you just hit the button. Uh, yeah, you just, I can, I, I want it a bit cleaner, so I want it cleaner by one and then it'll try and alter it. But the sample's fine at the moment, so we'll leave it as it is. That's just incredible. And if yeah, I was leaving a straw time. swath, you could also ask it to leave the straw in better condition as well. For the long, better straw for the baler. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it actually does it or not. What don't you like? Come on. What don't you like? Well, the guidance I'm struggling with, but I think the guidance is probably very good, but we're just incompatible. Yeah, well... But it's... Uh, You've got a few nudgy bits. So. Yeah, it's just learning how to set it up. I've pressed it already. It's trying to sort itself out. So we're coming back in we're now. Coming back in. Oh, oh, do, see, do, do, there you go. So have you hit... You know, and it's, it hasn't come quite in correctly. It has now. It's sorted itself now out. Now it's got it. Yeah. But now it'll be fine till the end of the run. So, right, I better unload. Get that into my Maybe a bit more playing with it. I'm sure it's me rather than the, <laughs> the gadget. <laughs> uh, what, is there anything I don't like about it? Yeah, it's oh, not I'm a loaded happy. question. It's I'm quite it's... happy. The header is 45 feet and the worst part about it is on the road. You know, although it's a, uh, it's... Although it's a steering, uh, four-wheel steering trolley, it is still a big unit on the road. Huge. In fact, we got to our first gateway and we, uh, into the all seed Rakeville, we couldn't get in the field off the road so we thought we'd <laughs> we thought we'd probably made a mistake but anyway that gateway has now been altered and it's fine. <laughs> yeah that's the way it goes well, well we've got a trailer there come on let's have a so we'll uh we're 80 percent well the head i mean that's you can't really blame the header that it's no that was our decision so it's uh so that's unloading at 180 litres a second but there is a half-speed option. Yeah, you were saying about that, as you're coming to the end and empties the auger out. That's it. Well, there's a half-speed that switches one cross auger off, so it's just more accurate at topping up trailers. I mean, 180 litres a second doesn't mean anything to me, other than if I... I mean, it is piling out there, isn't well, it? Well, if it's 180 litres a second, you'd have a ton on the floor in about six or seven seconds, wouldn't you, or something, or probably even less than that. Yeah. I think... And somebody would be complaining about you about two seconds after that. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, these are just in, it's just an incredible place to be, isn't it? As I've said in previous vids, if ever you get a chance to have a ride in one of these latest combines, just say yes. Um, if you can work it in with the sunset, uh, yeah, that's pretty special, and uh, it's just a, I mean, you don't, you don't have to be interested in farming, it's just a cool bit of kit, isn't it? It is, yes. I mean, it's just... Well, I'm loving driving it, actually. It's far nicer than being in the grain store. Well, what an office! I mean, blimey. Look at this. I mean, here we go, boys and girls. There's, it's GoPro and it's all that, but that's the view. So, yeah. I think we've just lost farmer sympathy. <laughs> yes. 
But it, as we were talking, while we've been on, it's been burst oil pipes to go. The weather isn't, it, it's not all. Oh, it's not all easy, no, by any means, is it? Anyway. But this is a very good day. This is a good. Oh, well, Despite yeah. it being Friday the thirteenth, at the moment it's oh, okay. Crikey, yeah, it is. Oh, well, <laughs> well, 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 keep fingers crossed, Jonathan. Thank you. It has been fabulous sitting up here, and uh, I'm a little bit jealous. Um, but it's oh, the way that head, this whole thing. I, you, you know, you know what I said. Yes. Really impressed. Yeah. Thank you very much. My, and uh, my pleasure. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see you in the vid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when it's been airbrushed. <laughs>